Hey, this is Dale with Habitat Rock, and uh, Mackenzie's here with me, and we're going to uh, show you everybody here how to use some of our small rock series um, to do a wall pedestal habitat. Um, the, we, we carry these here um, at the shop, and headquarters also carries them in their catalog. So uh, go ahead, Mackenzie, and start putting some rock on that thing. Okay, we have the HR5, HR4. HR1 and HR6. We're going to put some habitat in there. What we've done is we've just screwed a, a piece of OSB or wafer board to a mounting stand and then screwed the, the wall pedestal deer mount to that. And now Mackenzie's fastening those rocks from the back side with sheetrock screws. Um, as he goes and, and fits these different rocks in, just kind of positioning them and seeing what rock looks nice where uh, with keeping some, some design in mind. Uh, once they're screwed on there, he'll come through with a sawzall and and saw around the rocks to get rid of the the OSB. So it'll kind of be a three part three part video where. Uh, we attach the rocks, we saw around it, then we will seam around the back side of those rocks. The rocks will get painted, and then after they're painted, we'll apply some lichen and, and moss and, and finish the habitat on it. The uh, whole process probably was going to take, and I don't think we'll do it real time on here because there'll be some breaks in between, but I think the whole process to, to accomplish this is going to be in the neighborhood a half hour, 45 minutes. I would, I would bring those up and overlap them. Okay. Like yes. That. Very nice. Yep. Okay. Which three did you have now, now I need two. I need a marker. I'm going to take a marker and mark the outside of the deer. So I get the right shape.
And by the way, so everybody knows, his stool that he's using <laughs> is the new HR50. So when doing this, you got your outside, you're going to want to hold the sawzall at an angle so it is easier to seam around the outsides of the rocks to make the rocks blend in with the plywood so it's not an eyesore sitting on the wall. Okay, so we got our shape cut out. We got the OSB cut out around the rock and the shape of the deer still. Um, now I'm going to fill in our cracks with foam. We like to use pure black foam because um, it's black and it's not yellow. If it gets chipped or anything like that, you just got that dark color shown versus the yellow color shown. You can use whatever you want though. And we know Great Stuff is a common brand of foam and they make it in a black formula now. I noticed at the hardware store the other day, so that's pretty readily available to folks. You can get this product on Amazon. Um, we bought it from a company out of Maine. I think it was called Wildlife Wildlife Pest Controls. Um, they had a good price. We ordered it in bulk, but Amazon carries it and they carry the guns as well. So if you have questions about any of that, you can give us a call here at the shop. The nicer job you do of making your rocks tight together, the less this you have to do, the less seaming you have to do. That's what's nice about the little rocks. Is you don't have to seam anything, hardly, just around the edge. and it makes it nice and easy and quick. That's, that's all I needed to do for that, and the rest of it will all be seaming compound. Okay. We have got our rocks on there, our OSB cut out, our um, black spray, pure black spray foam in the cracks. It has already set up. Now after it's set up, you go through and you'll take a knife and you can just carve it away or pick it away with your fingers. If you catch it soon enough while it's setting up and it just skims over, you can push it in with your fingers and flatten it out. I let this set up too long, so I've got to carve it off with a knife, which I have already done. Um, now I'm going to seam it. The seaming compound that I'm going to use right now is something new, because we come up with new stuff every day. If you need a new chip sheet, um, call the shop here, and we can send you one. Um, I'm going to use Fix It All today. Um, you can also use you know, our old... Um, sheetrock joint compound and cellulose insulation and there's a couple of other tips that we have but right now we're going to use the fix all. I'm going to take about three quarters of this white cup because this is about how much you use before it will set. Um, something that will help the set time is cold water. Cold water will make it set in less time. If you use warm water it will set too fast on you you won't get half of this cup out. Um, I'm also going to put a little bit of concrete mortar dye in there, a black mortar dye, which is going to turn my um, compound a uh, gray color, a darker gray color. That way, when your rock's painted, if for some reason it ever does get chipped or anything, it will be gray underneath instead of white. If not, you'll have a white chip. Um, the reason that we started to use Fix All or Fix It All is because it is hard. Harder than our original Chi Rock Joint Compound. Um, it doesn't flake off near as, or as easily, and it textures really nice. It's cheap. And it's cheap. <laughs> we like cheap. So, I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to take my die, and all I've got here is a little teaspoon. And you just need a little bit on the tip of the teaspoon in with this mixture to turn it gray. Cold water. See? 
see, and I added too much water, so now I can put more. You don't want your seaming compound to be too runny, you want it to be able to hold it in your hand so you can work it a lot better. See now I've got this gray, oops, got a gray ball of seaming compound and I can come through here with my hands and I can put it on here. Make sure to blend it into your rock nicely. And then you can come through. We use either a brush or a sponge. There's a lot of things you can use. Some people use crunkled up tin foil. Um, there's all, all kinds Paper. of things you can use to texture it. But you can go through and texture it with the paintbrush or come through and texture it with this sponge just to give it that nice rock look. I prefer the, the sponge because it looks great. Anything I'm missing? You're running the seaming compound over the wood as well, right? Yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm putting it over the <clears throat> I'm putting it over the side of this wood. So when this is up against the wall, it'll look like rock up against the wall, and you won't see see our backboard at all here, which. After I'm done with this, I'm going to screw the animal back on here and it'll be permanently attached and I'll actually put my hanger on the back of this versus on the animal. Um, that way it's all one piece. It's nice and light, easy on and off. You don't have two pieces. So I'll get this seamed and when it's seamed, then we'll paint it. Are we on? We're on. Okay, now we are going, our seaming... <clears throat> Our seaming is dry. I went back over it with a Krylon Fusion Satin um, spray paint. It is called, the color is River Rock. Um, I went back over it with the seams. Uh, the reason for doing that is to give yourself a more consistent uh, paint job on the rocks. The uh, <clears throat> fix all, or fix it all, will soak the paint differently unless you seal it. If you can't find that color, can you use something else? Yep, you can use any color you want. Uh, this is the color of rock that I'm going to use. <laughs> Sorry, any color you want. Well, Gray. Go so. that. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> Hard enough as it is. I know. Um, this is the color I'm going to use. <laughs> it's pretty basic, almost black color. It's got a little bit of a green in it. I don't know if you can see it in the camera very much. Mm -hmm. um, best way to do that is to get yourself an example of color rock and the reason I'm doing that in dark color is because this is for a close coastal black tail deer. So I am gonna start by putting a little bit of green on this thing. I've got three colors that I picked out for that rock. I've got green I've got a dark charcoal gray color and black. And the mixture is? And the mixture we have on a sheet of paper <laughs> that I can't remember off the top one of my head. One and a half part so. paint. One and a half parts rubbing alcohol and water. How much water, Dale Manning?
side. Yep. I guess I'm the top. One part paper. Right. One and a half parts everything else. One and a half parts water. Oh, I like that. You don't wait for coats to dry in between? Nope. Let the colors blend together. It's a time saver. Kind of the way that it does it in nature. Well, if you start to get runs, you can come back through with a paintbrush. And you can catch them. You can kind of spread these colors out too a little bit through the rock. You can get spots that you missed because you, you won't get it all with the atomizing bottles. <clears throat> and that's What we did here is we used... Um, the bottles that the alcohol came in for our paint bottles, put the spray heads on them, let's reuse the bottle. You can use, we also use um, pot bottles, same way. So we do buy chemical resistant spray heads, however. Um, yes. They're maybe just a little more, a few pennies more, but they don't clog as easily. So the official recipe is one part paint, one and a half parts rubbing alcohol, one and a half parts water. My clothes? Your clothes looks good. Very easy, simple rock to paint. <clears throat> We've got other rocks in here that we painted a little bit different color. Oops, I'm gonna knock down my paint with this you. rock using the same method, but it's just that more red color. We've also got one right here that's brown, reddish, got some green in it, black. Can't mess it up. All different. One more. got some more yellow, little brighter colors to it. now and making sure that I've got my paint everywhere and all the cracks nice and even make sh making sure that I'm getting this seaming that I did on the back side here that makes the rock look like it's buttoned right up to the wall um, I also had <clears throat> sprayed the back of my backboard here black because this is right underneath where the deer is and there's a little bit of a gap here and the reason I sprayed that black so when you look, you won't be able to see the wood back there. And I also sprayed the edge of my or of my board here for the same reason. So when the hair covers over it, it won't stick out. That's it. Thanks. Okay, our rock is dry now, and now I'm going to put some habitat on it to uh, make it pop a little bit. Um, this is some moss. I haven't glued it on yet. This is some moss that we are lucky enough to have here locally um, but you can also buy this moss from wild things preserved um bernie is the guy's name bernie and dorothy bernie Smith. and dorothy and they um their moss is great all their habitat stuff's great we use it here in the shop every day but the way we attach this stuff is we use 100 percent silicone um and we'll just what i did here is i just placed it where i wanted it and a piece of it fell off already um, you take this silicone, just put some on here. I'm kind of going around the edge a little bit with it, and through the middle. The purpose of going through the edge is so now that I've got it on there, I can really push that edge down nice. To make that moss look like it's actually growing in the rock, versus just sitting on top of it. those 
I just pushed Okay, that looks down. better because I was questioning you. Oh, you were questioning my questioning. tactics. <laughs> wow. We even got started. <laughs> You know, and you can tell the difference here with this and this. Now this has got that nice clean edge. You can see how much that changed. Just that little bit of seam. all mossed up. Looks good. Got a little bit of silicone on the face of it, but it'll dry clear and you'll never even know it's there. Great. Now the next I'll screw it back, screw my deer back on there and show you what it looks like. Awesome. Be right back. Here's our finished product. Um, the whole project took about 45 minutes work time. That's not including the dry time. Uh, you gotta wait a half hour, 45 minutes for your seaming compound to dry and the paint took about a half hour, 45 minutes to dry, and that also depends on temperature. Um, it's not very warm here right now, so it took a little longer than it usually would. Um, I also sealed this rock with a matte finish just to lock the paint on. Um, just a nice, easy way to do a wall pedestal and put some habitat on it. Thank you for your time. Thanks for using Habitat Rock.